Today, we're going to look at two of the main drawing tools, the pencil tool and the pen tool. We will learn the basics of each tool, how their settings can be customised and some tips and tricks to help you when you're drawing. Both of these tools can be found on the drawing toolbar at the left of the workspace. OK, let's begin with the pencil tool, a freehand drawing tool for drawing lines on your page. The pencil tool is really simple to use. Simply click and drag on your page. On the context toolbar, you can set the line width and type. To set the degree of smoothing to be applied to the line, set the smoothness value. If I drag the slider to the right, you'll see that the line becomes smoother and has less nodes. Dragging it to the left makes the line more jagged and increases the number of nodes. You can also change the appearance of the line using the options on the Line tab. Changing the colour of lines is really easy too. Simply open the Colour tab, select the Line swatch and then choose the colour you want. Next, we have the Pen tool, which is one of the most important tools in DrawPlus. It can be difficult to master at first but once you've got the hang of it, you'll be able to draw almost anything. The first thing you'll notice is that you can't just click and drag to draw a line, like we could with the pencil tool. Instead, the pen tool is more like a connect the dots tool. Click on your page with the mouse to place the dots, which are called nodes, and then Draw Plus draws the lines in between. You can control the types of lines you draw with the pen tool by customising the settings on the context toolbar. The first thing to choose is a type of line segment. You'll notice that by default, Smart Segments is selected, which is a great choice whilst you're learning. This is because curves are created for you about the nodes that you've placed on the page. Simply click once where you want each node to go, and then a line of best fit will appear and connect the dots together. As you can see, I can close the shape by clicking on the node I started with when a small circle appears next to the pen cursor. Next, we'll look at line segments. Here, the nodes are joined together with straight lines. Finally, smooth segments. Smooth segments work in a slightly different way. If you just click to place nodes, you'll get similar results to the line segments. However, if you click and drag instead, you can set the direction of the line. This gives you more control over what you're drawing and creates totally different results to the other segments. There may be times when you want to draw a line and not create a closed shape. To do this, simply finish the line you're drawing by pressing the Escape key on your keyboard. OK, now you've finished drawing your line, you'll probably want to edit it. Editing lines is done with the Node tool. That's because the Node is really useful and gives you total control of your lines after drawing. Select the line you want to edit and then drag on a segment to change its shape. You'll notice that the other segments also update to retain a smooth curve. To change this behaviour, you'll need to change the Node type. First, select the node you want to change and you'll notice that some control handles appear. On the context toolbar, you can use these buttons to change the corner type. When you drag on the segment, the line will behave differently. To change the shape of a line, just drag directly on the control handles themselves. OK, now we've covered the basics, let's have a look at the pen tool in action. I'm going to use the pen tool to trace this picture of an apple. First, I'll set the line width and segment type. I'm going to choose Smooth Segments, as this offers more flexibility and design choices than the other options. For an easier alternative, you could use Smart Segments and then tweak the nodes afterwards. OK, when you're ready to start drawing, click on the outline of the shape where you want the line to start. Then. Click again when you want to place a new node. You'll need to do this when the curve is starting to change direction. With each new node that you draw, 
you can drag out off-curve control handles, which enable you to resize and reshape the curve at that point. Basically, the further apart the handles are, the deeper the curve will be. Now we'll look at some of the modifier keys. If your curve changes quite dramatically, try holding down the control key on your keyboard before you release the mouse button. This locks the furthest side of the curve and allows adjustments to be made to the current node. In this example, I've made the node much shorter so that the line curves in the way I want it to. Another useful modifier is the Alt key. This is useful if there's straight lines in your drawing because pressing the Alt key creates a sharp corner. Remember, if you make a mistake or the line doesn't look how you want it to, you can just adjust the nodes later. Next, I'll just keep making my way around the shape until I reach the first node. When that small circle appears, I'll click once to close the shape. Now we can edit any of the nodes that don't quite fit the shape with the Node tool. Some drawings like this one will require more than one curve to complete them. You can continue to build up the design until you're happy with it and then add colour and shade as you like. Before we finish this tutorial, I'd like to show you one more example which uses the pen tool. Here, we've traced a photo. It may look complicated, but it uses exactly the same techniques that we learnt in the other example. You can see that some of the lines vary in pressure and look like they've been drawn by hand, but that's not the case. If you've not got a graphics tablet, but still want to create natural looking lines, you can do this by setting the pressure of the lines in the Pressure tab. Simply select the line you want to change and then choose a preset from the Pressure Profiles drop down list. Does this example look familiar? That's because it features in one of our written tutorials, Shading. Why not find the tutorial and download the source file to recreate this drawing for yourself? I hope you've now got a better understanding of the pencil and pen tools and are looking forward to putting them into practice in your own designs. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.